I mean, there's a lot of different ways to skin this cat. You have other ideas that you would think about. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, obviously we talked about soft tissue. That's always a concern. Um, I really, you know, definitely anytime I can nail something, I'm going to try and find a way to do it. Um, And also, but that being said, just because I'm going to, I think you, as you mentioned, you, you kind of have to address that anterior lateral piece that's largely displaced. And so an anterior lateral approach that's big enough to properly address that piece and get that joint, addressing the joint separately, whether it's <clears throat> with independent screws or with like a small kind of rim plate, something that's going to keep that, um, that joint intact. Um, I'd probably address that first. With uh, as far as length, I mean, obviously the majority of the more proximal component of it is is more of a shaft type fracture um and given the opportunity would like to try to put a nail with that which would be probably using that x fix to my advantage but kind of converting it to traveling traction something that i can use um you know use the distraction of the traction during my nailing process um, it might also mean like, as you mentioned, that little spike is kind of up within that metaphyseal component or within that like almost diaphyseal component that might need like a small perk um, clamp at that component. But I think that the shaft component is relatively simple. Um, I think you can get, as long as you can get good enough fixation at the joint, then you can, then you can proceed with the nail. If you can't get good enough fixation in the joint, you're not comfortable with it. You can always do the larger incision and do that plate. And I've always kind of have both of those things available. That's the same thing talking about the, the posterior component of it. Like I, I believe that with enough traction and kind of, um, you know, good clamp placement that we can fix the anterior to the posterior anatomically. 